How's it punters? Welcome back to Best Sports Betting. And in this video, I'm going to be looking at three strategies for Dreamcatcher. Looking at the 2010-2 strategy. Then I'm going to move on to the simple five strategy. And finally, the big risk, big win strategy. Now, I found these on Casino Grounds. It's an online kind of casino guide site similar to Best Sports Betting. And they've got a couple strategies up there. And uh, I thought I would take a look at some of them for a video. Now, I'm not going to be playing these strategies in depth. I've, I've got the... 2010 two strategy running at the moment which i'll be explaining shortly but uh, yeah i'm not going to be running through all of these in a great deal of detail i'm just going to run through the strategy and put down some example bets so that you guys have an idea of how they work because i'm covering three it's it's a lot to cover and i don't think everyone wants to sit here and sit through 10 to 20 spins of each strategy it's just going to be a video that's going to be way too long so let me run through the 2010-2 strategy. Now they said that they found that betting on numbers 2, 10 and 20 might be the best strategy if you want your bank roll to last longer and you want to win more often. And why, you ask? Well, with 2, they cover 15 different sectors, 10 covers 4 and 20 covers 2. So in total, you're covering 38.88% of the wheel. So on number two, we bet as much as we bet on numbers 10 and 20 in total. So let's try that. Let's try bets on number two the same amount. So what they're saying is if you're putting on 20 rand on 10 and 2, you want to put 20 rand on the two as well. So whatever these two uh, bets are going to be, you must have the total of these on the two. I'm assuming that's because that's going to give you a nice little bit of a boost if it comes in. Uh, yeah, they've got an example here that says if you bet 10 on 2 and 20, we bet 20 on the number 2. This way we get our profit back if it hits 2, but good profit if it hits 10 or 20. So they're basically banking on a 10 or 20 to come in, a couple of 2s to help you make your stakes back. Uh, it's a pretty decent strategy. It does, as I said, only have a 38.8% coverage of the wheel. So you're not going to be winning every single spin. You're going to be winning every couple of spins. I want to say every 3 or so spins. Uh, on paper, obviously paper and the Dreamcatcher wheel are two different things. As you can see here, there are not too many 10s and 20s in, the, in this uh, the session. But uh, that's the strategy. So we're going to give this one one more spin. And then I'm going to move on to the next the one, the Simple 5 strategy. Well, let's see if we can actually pick up a win on this one. <laughs> So the 2, 10, and 20 strategy. Can we get anything at all on it, or are we just going to get another one? Yes, we are. Right, so let's move on to our next one, which is the simple 5 strategy. Now, the simple 5 strategy aims at taking advantage of the 5, which apparently covers 14 sectors. So apparently you have a 1 in 4 chance of hitting the 5 on this bet now i'm not sure where they came up with all of those different statistics i haven't had the chance to count all the fives on the wheel um, i'm just going to take I, i'm not sure if i should take their word that there are 14 sectors of the wheel that have five i think there's less than that to be honest but we'll have a quick look after the spin like i said these aren't my strategies i'm following these strategies off a, a online guide so we've got one two Ah, I can't count them there. So there's a 10 that would have come in nicely on the previous strategy. And that would have uh, paid up. So that if we were backing the previous one, that would have paid in or paid up quite nicely. I would actually like to count all the fives on the wheel. One, two. So one, two, three. Ah, not going to be quick enough ever. <laughs> but let's repeat that bet on the five. So yeah, I think they, they might be a little bit uh, optimistic with that uh, 14 different fives. But yeah, I'll, I'll leave it in the comments below once I am editing this video. I'll see how many fives they actually are. I don't like this strategy. Uh, they say that you have a 1 in 4 chance of winning. I don't like that. I don't think that's very high. I don't see 5 come up all that often. Uh, it's a number that I generally tend to avoid. Is that going to be a 7 times? Just passed, eh? Uh, so I tend to avoid betting on fives in general. Uh, so this is a strategy I don't really recommend, um, especially kind of backed or based on some of the, the facts that they've mentioned. So I think we should jump on to the next one, which is the big wheel, big win strategy, which has a 5.5% wheel coverage. 
Now this is apparently something not for the faint of heart, and I probably agree. I mean, five percent you're going to have to go through what twenty spins to 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 hit that one. And uh, if you enjoy reaping the big rewards when Lady Luck turns her gaze towards you, then go ahead try this strategy, betting on only sections twenty and forty of the wheel. So what they're banking on here is that you're betting on 20 and 40 for very small stakes but they also mention that this 20x bet can turn into 140 times if you get uh, there's a five that comes in <laughs> just as we change it sorry but yeah so the 20 and the 40 can turn into 140 times on a bonus multiplier so all that is is just simply to bet on 20 and 40 that's all you need to do um I think you're going to sit here for a long time. I think if you're going to be betting the strategy, I would sit there and spend a very small amount. I'm thinking like maybe five rand a spin um, on, on each one. So maybe 10 rand total bet. Just because it's going to be very difficult to pick up a 7x on either 20 and a 40. And just these 20 and the 40s by themselves are not going to come up that much. As you guys can see on the wheel, there's only three different sectors that cover the 20 and the 40 there's another five guys so look the five strategy that i was looking at earlier seems to seems to be coming in nicely now which is fascinating let me have some random bets so those are the different strategies that i've gone through today guys i look i generally don't like any of them to be honest uh, we went through the 20 10 and 2 strategy I thought that was okay. If there was any of those that I want to play, it'd probably be that one. Uh, it covers a good amount of the wheel. Uh, so I think that one might be the best of the lot. The second one was the simple five strategy where you're only backing fives. Um, you can see that kind of came in there, but we weren't backing it at the time. And for that, you have a, apparently a one in four chance, which I, I don't quite believe. I don't like that five strategy, guys. I, I can't really recommend that you try it. Um, you know, it's up to you. Let me know if you guys are trying the strategy and it is working for you. I'd, I'd actually love to know. And then the last strategy that we looked at was the big win strategy, which was betting on 20 and 40 and hoping that you get either those two numbers uh, as well as a lightning multiplier. So the, those are the strategies that, that I've run through today. Uh, if you guys are using anything similar to that, please let me know in the comments below. I always love to, to check out strategies without betting on them. Um, look, even if they don't work, if you have a crazy strategy that says, hey, bet on 1 and 40 and... You know, it, it works for it works for you. Then I'll try it. Uh, you know, I'll, I'll put it through a couple of spins. Uh, you know, maybe t 10, 20 spins. We'll see how we do. Uh, and I'm not gonna not gonna bash the strategies until I've tested them. So guys, thanks for tuning to this video. Let me know in the comments below what strategy you are using for Dreamcatcher, and I will catch you in the next video. Have a good one, guys. Cheers.